What's up, TBE family? Coach John coming at you. Today we're talking core stability, okay? So I've got a Coke can here, uh, and I wanted to show you a little demonstration with it. So this can's nice and solid right now. We've got the whole cylinder intact. And I can stand on that, put some weight on that, and that's still gonna be able to hold me. But see, we throw a little kink in this. This is equivalent to us arching our back uh, under load. A little kink in that thing, and it can't take any weight. That's the same idea we're thinking about with our core, okay? So I have an exercise to kind of help with that idea. So you're gonna set up on the wall in a 90-90 position, meaning your hips are at 90 degrees and your knees are at 90 degrees. This is kind of, if you were to rotate me, I, I kind of look like I'm in the bottom of my squat position, okay? So what we're gonna do is throw the kettlebell on top of our belly. And if I just relax, that thing sinks down and it's really crushing my guts. But what I wanna do is activate my core, try to make that good cylinder like the Coke can, and push out against that kettlebell. So you can see my abs kind of raising that kettlebell up to the roof. Here's relaxed, here's nice and solid with the abs. So the goal is to get a good breath down into the belly while keeping that kettlebell up high. So I'm gonna breathe without letting that kettlebell sink back down into my guts, okay? Just the deal here is abs on, breath into that kettlebell. Another way we can make this a little bit harder is by digging our heels into the, into the wall and kind of lifting our butt up off the ground. Okay, so that activates the hamstrings and kind of pulls my pelvis down. So now I can hold this position while working the breathing. What I wanna try and do is three second breath on the way in, hold for three, breathe out for three, and hold that for three. Just controlling the breath, keeping the abs on. That's it for today, guys. Miss you guys, see you next time.